Are you thinking of taking a trip to the Philippines? If so, then the most important part is the initial journey. And therefore, today we will be discussing how to find cheap flights to the Philippines. Book at least two months in advance. Some airlines have referred to the ideal time to book as the prime booking window. This varies from airline to airline, but most airlines recommend to book at least a few months in advance. Search for flights in incognito. There has been several documented cases of customers finding flights, then researching those flights, only to find out that the prices have increased, which may encourage some customers to book if they believe that the flight price is going to continuously increase. It has to be said that this is somewhat of a myth. But speaking out of experience, I have always noticed that prices go up if I did not clean my internet history. Take a look at Kayak for cheap flights. Over the last few months, I've been drawn into a company called Kayak, as they are often one of the cheapest flight providers. The company also offers hotels, cars, and complete packages, and thus, if you are looking for added extras, you may find some fantastic deals on their platform. The data suggests that the cheapest flights can be found on a Tuesday or Wednesday. According to sources at faircompare.com, the cheapest day to book can be found on a Tuesday. Interestingly, this is another myth. But as this is a well-known myth, some airlines seem to lower their price during midweek and this may be to gain more customers. Separate analysis suggests that Wednesday is the cheapest day to book your flights. However, one of the great things about using a flight comparison website is that you can compare different dates. Use your points or your credit card benefits. Some credit card providers offer cash back when purchasing flights using their credit card. But aside from using mainstream bank credit cards, you also have another option, and this is using the airline's card. Most airlines have a premium card that includes early check-in and airport lounge access. Stay up to date with Scott's Cheap Flights or Jack's Flight Club. If you are situated in the United Kingdom, then Jack's Flight Club may be a better option. But if you are from America, Australia, Germany, Canada, or any other country outside of the UK, then Scott's Cheap Flights may be more appropriate. Essentially, these websites allow you to stay up to date with extremely low flight tickets from around the world. Sometimes these cheap flights are due to errors from the airline while the other low-cost tickets are just amazing deals. If your flight is indirect, book the tickets separately. When flying into the Philippines, you will often have a decision to make. This decision is between price and convenience. You will find that the most direct flights are often the most expensive, but naturally are the quickest and most convenient. On the other hand, indirect flights can sometimes be much lower, but be much longer. Fly out and in from the cheapest airports. Most major cities around the world have numerous airports. For example, London has six of them. Therefore, when looking at how to find cheap flights to the Philippines, you may save by changing the airports. Change the currency on the airline's website. Most international airlines allow users to change currency, and as currency is continuously changing, you may be able to save money booking a flight to the Philippines by changing the currency. And because you've stayed to the end, here is a bonus tip on how to find cheap flights to the Philippines. It's been suggested that the airline's prices can differ depending on what country you are booking from. For example, if you are booking a flight from America to the Philippines and you're sat in America, the price may be different if you book the exact same flight but sat in the Philippines. This is also another myth, but if you are using a VPN, it may be a great idea to test out this method to see if it works for you.